I'm Yu Hong Liu. I'm currently an associate professor from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Santa Clara University. I'm running a trustworthy computing lab. And in today's uh, computer networks, it tends to be more decentralized and more open, which allows the individual users and also those edge devices to contribute more to the network by sharing their computational um, resources, storage space, and their communication capabilities, and even the information collected by them. So with that being said, uh, there are so many distributed entities joining the network, which uh, allows us or requires us to collaborate, and also trust becomes an essential issue. So in our lab, we mainly focus on the trust modeling and theory, and also apply that into different emerging domains, such as the online social network, the blockchain, and also the cyber-physical system, systems. In today's video, we will mainly focus on the trust issues in the online social media. We know that with today's technology, like the mobile computing and the online social media, uh, individual users, it's very easy and convenient for them to just uh, share a post online or uh, upload a video and photo about themselves, get connected with their friends and the family members, and they can do a lot of activities online. For example, like YouTube's, we can see like more than hundreds of hours of video uploaded online every single minute. Those social media platforms, they have uh, hundreds of millions of users daily active. So we can see online social media or online social network is influencing everyone's daily life. However, on the other hand, um, it also becomes very easy for those malicious users to distribute those disinformation or misinformation online. Through the pandemic, we have witnessed the massive amount of misinformation propagated online, influencing the general public's opinion regarding our policies, for example, like the wearing mask, going back to school in person, or those vaccines. A particular example is that there is a cyber hacker uh, who actually digitally rigged the election results across uh, Latin American countries for more than eight years. He said that, when I discovered people believe what the internet says more than reality, I discovered that I actually have the power to make them believe almost everything. To address this problem, however, is very challenging. It requires the collaborations from many different disciplines. Currently, our lab has two ongoing projects. One is uh, collaborating with the Makola Center for Applied Ethics. And in that project, we are targeting on the misinformation propagation, particularly targeting on the minority group, uh, Chinese American. And in that project, we aim to build a repository that contains the uh, misinformation propagation related Chinese uh, languages or terms. And in addition, we are also aiming to develop those automatic crawling tools to actually help us in the future to be able to dynamically update the repository. And the other project is collaborating with a colleague from the business school with the um, social psychology background. And in that project, we aim to um, focus on the disinformation facilitated cyberbully where people try to quickly disseminate those disinformation, unfounded harmful uh, information against particular individuals or groups. And it's very important for us to study the fundamental psychology mechanisms behind those aggressive behaviors so that we can develop effective uh, prevention strategies.